Hey there guys, this is Ultragrunt. We are back in Stalker Clear Sky. Last time in Stalker, which was a little while ago now, uh, we finished up some quests for freedom. We had a bunch of side quests to do for freedom and uh, we got them all done I think now. There's not really any more for us to do at the moment here, but my plan for this episode is to go exploring. We're going to check out some areas I've not checked out and look for some artifacts in certain areas that I've not looked at. Um, like we're going to go to the factory, there's an artifact somewhere back here. There was like an anomaly field back there. And um, there's a couple other places I want to check out as well for like these stashes maybe. Then, depending on time, we'll head back to the garbage because there's nothing really else for us to do here until... Ah, can I take my nap? There we go. So, yeah, once we've um, done that, we'll go to the garbage. And we will find out what's going on with Fang. And we'll see where we go from there. Because I don't think there's a whole lot more for us to do here in Dark Valley. So first up, I want to go back here because apparently I've been doing this all wrong. Trying to get into this other side of the factory over here. And uh, I should have really been doing something else. Oh wait, no. Real quick, I need to buy some bandages. Um, I will check my inventory before I started um, recording. I've got no bandages at all. Hmm. Those are some pricey bandages, but I really could do with them. I'll sell them with a bunch of these grenades and this AK here. I don't need this one. I've got anything else. Is that for some reason? Cool. Cool. Right, now let's go on in to uh, the back area over here. So you may have noticed there's been a lack of videos over the past two weeks. I actually hit a mental block completely and then I just couldn't get back into the swing of uh, doing videos. But I'm going to try and get back on top of things now. So, let's do it. So, here, I was supposed to low crouch. I did never really thought about that because it didn't seem like a spot to low crouch, you know? Let's get the trusty bolt out and the anomaly detector. Well, the artifact detector, I mean. I'm running for this radiation here. There's an artifact here. Somewhere. Oh, there you are. And then there's a bunch of anomalies here. run around it like that. That'll do. Cool. Because uh, we need to go into this tower as well, because we bought a stash location here a little while ago, and we could do with grabbing it. I've got a feeling this is where the last memory stick is that we need to get the guy. And it's not. It's a pistol and a viper. Well, that's no good. Hmm. Oh, look, there's a, um, there's a box over there. On top of a roof. Let me check out my radiation. Hmm. I am irradiated, but it's okay at the moment. I could take off the artifact and let my radiation calm down. I do start losing health, though. But it'll be fine. Um, the jellyfish should come back to some of this radiation. So yeah, like I said, um, the reason there's been no videos is I just got stuck. Honestly, I my brain just stopped working. <laughs> to put it, that that's like the only way I could put it. My brain just stopped working for making videos and then I just didn't feel like it because of it. And that's just how it happens, unfortunately. Um, let's go in here. We need to get on the roof. Because there is another thing around here for us. If we can find a way onto the roof. Actually, I wonder if the um, this place is still full of weapons, like in Shadow Chernobyl. No. Hmm. Let's go upstairs to the roof. 
There is a box here. There's some pistol ammo in there of some kind. I'm gonna try not to use too much of my medical things on uh, this radiation. Hey look, this is the other side of that wall in the Freedom Base. Is there anything back here? No. Yeah, I don't want to use up all of my anti-rads, but I use a little bit. Just so I can get this radiation sorted. And then we'll stick the color back, back on. And heal a little bit. Why am I breathing so heavily? Is it because I was low on health? I guess I was. It's the only thing I can think of. Anyway, let's have a quick look at this, what we picked up. The battery. The origin of this item remains a scientific enigma. It is known only that its composition includes dielectric elements. But scientists have yet to identify the exact physical conditions required for its formation. The artifact is popular in a zone and valued by its residents and visitors for its restorative abilities. It emits radiation, of course. It gives us endurance. Now, we don't need any endurance at the moment, and I don't really want to switch out the health recovery artifacts at the moment. At least not until we get some more anti-radiation artifacts, but we'll keep an eye out. So there should be a, a stash up here somewhere. Oh, the safe must be it. Let's have a quick look at what it says on the PDA. Safe at Freedom's Base. In the three-story building at Freedom's Base, there's a safe that holds something valuable for loot seekers. Hey, it's an M4. We'll take that. Just because we can sell that to Clear Sky later. I've got a massive sash, as you know. If you saw the last episode of um, NATO weapons that I'm going to sell to Clear Sky. Okay, let's try and find a safe way down. Because I want to go in there next, where that... I think that's Pyrogeist. I see a way down. I just don't want to jump down and hurt myself. I'm going to climb down this thing. Oh, we're just going to miss it entirely and just fall straight down. So we're going to go inside here. Is there anything actually in here? It doesn't look like it, so let's just get inside this corridor. And let's heal ourselves up, because we're in bad shape at the moment. Let's stop our bleeding. I don't use my... All of my med kits and bandages on it. There we go. Let's drink some vodka. That'll help. Okay. Wow, we've got a lot of 5.56 five, rounds. Maybe I should be using the M4 then. Hmm. Okay. So we've got this pyrogeist in here, but there's a stash up here as well. And it looks like this pyrogeist is only going back and forth in that section, so I think we might be fine here. There's a lot of boxes here. Yup. I have a lot of grenades. I don't think I did any damage to the Pyrogeist. Or is this just an anomaly? 
I think it's been mistaken. I think it's just an anomaly. Get nothing on the detector. It didn't actually seem to be hurting me at all, so I'm just gonna run through it. I don't think I did anything to me. Oh, there's a stash. Can I touch it? This is an awkward stash to get. There we go. It's just a Cora 12. Or whatever it is, Cora 919. Don't really need more pistols. Especially since we got one that's pretty, like, upgraded at the moment. Okay, so next, let's have a look at the map. Uh, we should probably go over here and get this um, anomaly, this artifact that's, like, over by the factory. There's, like, a pile of anomalies back there. I could hear him and see him when I was over there fighting the mercenaries, but I never went out and actually checked him out, so. Let's head on over there. I'll probably come back through actually and grab some M4s as well. Um, the more of them I can grab, the more money we're going to get from Clear Sky, so it's worthwhile. I'm not going to be selling them all today on this episode or anything. I'm just going to uh, be gathering them. And uh, we'll take them another time to sell. Nothing in that box. I think actually there's a... Yeah, there's a safe in there that I need to access for a stash. Ooh. Small but nine by nineteen. Hmm. Okay, it's made a save just in case we get caught up in these anomalies and die. We don't want that to happen. So it should be an art. Oh, okay, it's over there somewhere. Is it moving around? It still doesn't seem to be moving around. I think I need to go around the back of these anomalies here. There it is. It's like stuck. They're supposed to be moving around normally, but I don't know, that one just didn't want to move. Okay. Let's have a look what we picked up. A wrenched. This bizarrely shaped artifact appears in places with increased gravitational activity. Acts as a kind of sponge that absorbs radioactive elements. In doing so, the artifact provides protection from outside radiation, as well as from radioactive particles that have already made their way into the body. Removes four radiation. That's better than a jellyfish. That's pretty nice. So now we've got two artifacts to remove radiation. I'm wondering, actually, if I should... Um if I should upgrade the body armor I've got on at the moment, or if I should save my money and buy something new uh, later in the game. It would be nice to have some more artifact space now that we've got, you know, multiple radiation artifacts to get some extra stuff. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure what we should be doing. I, I guess I'll think about it. We are going to see Clear Sky at some point after we deliver him all these weapons. Actually, that's the thing. Now that we've got this, we can take this off and put on the gravity. Because we still are getting rid of radiation. And we can now carry 70 kilograms of weight instead of just 50. Let's check around for some M4s and stuff. I could have some more medical stuff as well if we can come across it, but... That's secondary to what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a couple of stashes here, so let's grab that.
I don't think there's anyone left around here. I think those um, freedom guys are still hanging around here, but they're not doing much. Oh yes, yeah, some med kits and some anti-red drugs. There's a pistol. I'm gonna grab that just so we get rid of the marker on our map for the the um, stash. Because otherwise, it's gonna be there forever. These freedom guys are still stuck here. You guys okay? Can I help you at all? I can't help you. It's weird, they're stuck in like a perpetual state. The target is a factory lobby, but they don't seem to know what they want to do. So through here is a stash. Down here. I half expect there to be like a bloodsucker or something down here. That's the stash. Huh. Some 76 2x54. Sniper ammo. We don't have a sniper rifle yet, but when we do get one, we'll have some ammo for it at least. So there's one more stash. Stash at the tower. I told my partner I'd lost my backpack along the way, and the sucker ate it. Actually, I hid it on the top of the water tower. It's still there waiting for me. So that's back here. On the roof. I forget, was there anything up here? There's a bunch of boxes. Anything at all? I feel like there has to be something, right? Nope. Just a pile of physics objects. Well, let's go into that tower there. I think we can just jump straight onto the ladder. Ha! Oh! Okay, maybe not. That's not a ladder. Or at least it's not a ladder from this side. There it is. Some med kits and another pistol. Probably get rid of the pistols, honestly. Oh, look. That must be the entrance, the uh, tunnel they were talking about. Like where the mercenaries were coming in. I thought it was somewhere else, honestly. Oh, a bandage. Anymore. There's one here. Another room for. What I'll probably do is go make a pit stop back at the Freedom Base and drop off all these M4s. Oh, I'm over encumbered now. Uh, let's see. I don't need all of these. Drop ball. Cool. Get that. And we'll get that ammo. And what I'll probably do is go and cut ahead and take us back to the base while I drop off all these guns. Hmm. How much does that weigh? There's not really anything I can drop at the moment. Do I have a silencer? Drop this Cora 9, I don't need that. Oh, of course, I got this ammo here, I don't need that. And that's the tunnel. Oh, wait, it's open. Hmm. Actually, is there anything in here? No. I guess. Freedom have already demolished it. I guess that's the reasoning for that. 
Well then, I don't know what else to do. I wonder if it's actually anything that's up his stairs real quick, because that door is locked, so I'm wondering if there's going to be like a little box for us to break. I was right. My stalker sense was tingling. Got some more ammo. I think we got some AP rounds then. I'm not sure. You could probably drop a bit of pistol ammo. Got plenty. Okay, guys. Let's just continue. We don't need to go back to the Freedom Base, I don't think. For now. Let's we'll have a look what's down there. I don't expect to actually find anything. But uh, we'll go back out this way. And we'll see if we can find anything. I'm kind of hoping we'll find that memory stick at some point. That flash drive for the mechanic. For the mechanic here at the Freedom Base. But we'll see. Uh, it's trying to have an extra slot to have like an endurance artifact on. But we'll do that at some point. We'll, um, yeah, maybe I will upgrade the suit just for some more artifact space. Not so much anything else. Because I'm pretty good for, like, space as it is. Because I'm pretty good with, with this suit as it is. It absorbs a lot of damage and I'm taking good care of it. Let's go and check this out. This is that body I saw. Yeah, when I saw this pipe, I thought maybe this was the one that they were talking about that uh, the mercenaries were using. But I guess not. I saw a foot over here as well. I was right. Some more dead freedom guys. I don't like that these guys are just dead here. There's like no sign of what killed them. But what's your name? Oh, okay. I thought it was something else. There's that massive anomaly field we went to last time. and found a night star. I don't think there's anything else though here. Just those flesh. Yeah, I think there was a objective for me to uh, take this place with those freedom guys inside the factory at the moment. But they never, like, wanted me to help them again. Like, I saw the task for it once. And then they sort of, like, got stuck in there because I was, like, going back to the Freedom Base at the time. And they just sort of just decided not to go for this spot. They didn't want to get rid of the flesh there. Well, let's go and get this stash over here. And I think we are actually going to be done in the Dark Valley once we've done that. So, somewhere in these bushes here is a stash. Oh, there is. Ah, there's a flash drive. That's the last one as well. That we need for the mechanic. Cool. Well. In that case, guys, let's head back to the Freedom Base. Drop off our stuff. And then we're going to head off into the garbage, I think. For the rest of the episode. I don't know how much we're going to actually do there. But, um. We'll at least check out what the objective is over by the flea market. And here we go, guys. We've got them all. <laughs> We've got so many M4s now. Yeah, we'll be sure to trade these off to Clear Sky. They're supposed to pay us the most for all this, so I'm probably going to have to make two separate trips because of how much I've got. But I'll do that at some point. I don't know if I'll do it on screen or off screen. We'll see. So for now, I don't need the Gravion anymore. Let's put on... Let's put a soul on for now. Oh wait, no, we've got the color buck. Yeah. Because I don't need anything else from these right now. I do actually have something back at the loner base. I've got a couple of artifacts back there that I should check out at some point. Put the scope back on this. Uh, we'll probably keep it out actually, because we've got 952 rounds now for it. I should probably maybe sell some of that ammo because I've got so much of it. All 
I don't know. Anyway, let's what talk to our old me, friend Sammy? here, Mr. Yar. Goodbye, laddie. I need to just repair my suit real quick. Should we upgrade the M4 at all? I don't know how long I'm going to be using this, because I'm pretty sure we'll find a G36 at some point soon. Hmm. I mean, maybe I'll just hold off on this for now. The um, A94 here, though, on the other hand, I think I'm actually going to do the final upgrades for it, because we're going to be using it for still quite a little while. May as well upgrade it, so let's get the power replacement, the gravitational stabilizer to increase the accuracy, and let's get the extended magazine on it. So now it's fully kitted out. I'm not going to make it a 5.56 gun, but that's handy to know if I needed to do that, because, I mean, why wouldn't we do that if we've got all this ammo? <laughs> but I'm not going to do that. We're good for now. And I think everything else is good. I'm going to get the extended magazine, actually, for the chaser. Accuracy on the shotgun is kind of a weird one. Though I suppose if you were using slug rounds, it's pretty good. But I think extended magazine's all we need for this. Cool. I think we're all set to go, guys. Let me put the scope back on that. Put that back in my inventory. Cool. Um, and let's talk to you again. I found information about the upgrades you were looking for. So, once we find ourselves a sniper rifle, is it me? this is our man to talk to. Out of asses. No, it's not me. I want to do one final check with Ganja to see if he's got anything for us. Any quests or rewards or anything. And then we'll head back to the garbage. Got some for me. What can you offer me? Uh, I don't care about that one. I don't care about that one. Yeah. If you want to lift the elbow, swing by. I'm always here. Nothing else for me in there. I should probably get rid of these grenade rounds, but um, if we do get an underslung grenade launcher, that could be pretty nice. I don't know. I'll think about that one. Is there anything in here I want to grab before we move on? Um, I'll grab the PDAs just to take them with us for now. Got all these extra AKMs and chasers and stuff. I probably should sell all these. You know, what? I'm gonna do that real quick, and then we'll head back. So I sold those, and I grabbed a few more bandages. Um, he actually was selling underslung grenade launchers for the NATO weapons, but yeah, I don't, I don't think I need one yet at the moment. I think I'm good. This uh, is a very overcast sky right now. Is it gonna rain again? Let's not fall down there. Let's head on to the garbage. There's not much, much else here for us. All loaded up. Scope ready. Are we on single fire? No. I still think that's the most weird default key for fire rate change. Because the fire rate changer is um, the zero key. Every other game in the universe is like um, V or B for the fire rate change. It's kind of weird. Actually, have we got a potential artifact over here? There's some anomalies. Or is it just radiation? Hmm. It didn't seem like there's any artifacts there. It seemed like it could have been, because it looks like a cluster, but... I guess not. These are these guys that we met when we first entered the Dark Valley. So. Got anything for me, guys? They don't really want to talk, I don't think. Nope. I ain't too good of hearing. Speak louder. Let's go back through then to the garbage. 
and hope for no omission. And we're back in the garbage, and freedom are here. They've taken this bandit location, which works for us pretty well. Means we don't have to fight through bandits every single time we're going to go to the Dark Valley now. So, what did you want to? You guys got anything for me to do? So, I think the bandits' remains are still here, like all the weapons and gear and stuff. What brings you here? I can't help you. Yeah, I don't think there's anything for us here. So, but it's good to know that down? Freedom are watching this area now. Let's head on over to the flea market. No sign of an omission either. Nope, radiation though. Oh! No, no! I ran straight into an anomaly! Let me out! Try to get out. Nope. Well, that was stupid of me. And that's why you should pay attention to where you're walking. Oh, there I go. Through the tree. <laughs> Completely gone. Well, it's a good thing we got the auto save there. <laughs> Let's try this again. So, I did see some loners, I think, fighting some mutants over here. Oh, well, must run straight into another anomaly. Pseudo duck. I do see some loners running over there, yeah. I think they were trying to take the spot. I think I killed everything. I think we're all good here. There is a stash here. Dead man's backpack. You're not afraid of ghosts, are you? Then look for a stash in a backpack next to a dead body. Oh, look at this guy. He's loaded. Though I don't think this is our fellow. There's a backpack next to a body, apparently. Oh, it's this one. Flash drive. I don't know who that's for. I don't know if loaners are enough to. They don't seem to want to stick around here, though. What's this loner doing? He's like walking straight up to all these fleshes. <laughs> This guy's not going to do too well. He's got snorks on him. He's got a load of fleshes. I'll support him a little bit, but I can't do a whole lot for him. These guys are just so underarmed. Like, there's someone firing a, a PM over here. And you seem to be, always be armed with, like, hunting shotguns, so... If I get rid of the snorks, I'll go and clean them up with my shotgun. Because they seem to want this location as well. It's good to see, though, that um, these guys are wanting to take back some areas, finally. Hey, Fleshers. All gone. Oh, wait, no. One more. They want their dig site back. And you don't belong here. Let's 
check these dead loans real quick. I'm more bothered about medical gear and stuff than I am anything else. I feel like there is another one, but I can't seem to find him. Let's have a look what's going on in the world here. Stalkers receiving outpost. Which one's the receiving outpost? Is it that one? Or is it the one in Cordon? I think the loners might have got pushed out of the outpost there. No, just up in there. Okay. Well then. Let's go and check out this objective. It looks like it's in there. Yep, it's in there. Let's go on in. Actually, what's that flash drive for that I picked up? Flash drive with data on a close cycle breathing module. A recirculation enabled system takes care of purifying contaminated air. I wonder what that's for. Like, what suit that's for. Hmm. Anyway. Find Feng. I didn't expect that. This place is pretty damn good. Look at all these stalkers charging in here like flies to honey. I wonder what they're after. Nah, it's too bad that punk got away. Screw him. He dropped his shit. That's all that matters. Yeah, let's grab the best stuff and get the hell out of here. We've taken the position! You still with us, Mark? Good, good. Fang's PDA is right next to you somewhere. Find it. Well, Fang, the situation has changed. Someone knows we reached the center of the zone and are looking for us. We've got to move and fast. You'll find a detailed plan of action in our stash. I changed the code. Mark, this is Lebedev. Information from Fang's PDA confirms my suspicions. An unidentified group of stalkers visited the center of the zone. I don't know how, but they even managed to survive the large emission. It would have been better if they hadn't, because the zone will not be pacified until the path to the center is a secret once more. There are two ways that could happen. Either we stop this group of stalkers, or the zone releases more emissions to destroy everything in it, and maybe outside it too. Clearly, it would be better if we did it ourselves, but we have to act quickly if we're to stand any chance of success. Fang's PDA contains the coordinates of their stash. I am confident we can find information about their plans in there. Well, I didn't expect that to happen. So we've lost all our gear and we need to go to hunt down our, these bandits that took our stuff. It might actually be worth me taking some of these pistols real quick to see if we can get anything going, like another weapon. Because right now, we are naked. Got no armor and all we've got is this Makarov. Um, what have we got? We've got the 4 of 12, which is slightly more accurate at least. The only problem is we need some... Um, different rounds for some of these other ones. Hmm. I mean, maybe there's something left in the aftermath up here, from when there were all these mutants kept second. Got another macro of... Ah! There's an AKS. There's a Viper. It's not going to do me any good. Oh, there's another AK. Anything else up here? There is a dead snork up here. It might actually be worth me checking out one or two stashes real quick to see if I can find anything worthwhile. Because being under geared like this is going to be a lot different from where I've just been. <laughs> Let's have a look. A log in the bushes. I stuffed my loot in a log and dragged it off into the bushes. It should stay safe. And out of sight there. 
Yeah, because we need some medical gear. Um, they've completely abandoned this place, the loners. They're all off out somewhere else. They're going to the far outpost. The flea market's no longer their territory. I wonder if Freedom will move in and take it, or if the bandits will. Anyway, let's go and grab this stash over here. Maybe we'll get something out of it. Because I could do with some bandages or some um, medical kits or something. This is it. Uh, some vodka and a pistol. Hmm. And I've all got this. Oh no, I've got a uh, a decent detector as well, at least. Unless I still kept mine, I don't know. We got freedom over here. Maybe they'll give us something. I should unload this AK. Hey, actually, if I unload some of these guns, maybe I'll get some ammo. What have we got? Let's use one of these Marthas, I think. I think this should be better than the PM. Unfortunately, we're going to be low on AK ammo. That's... Yeah, we've got like one mag. Hmm. So. Got anything I can have? I can give you food. What you got for me? I'm not gonna be able to buy anything for these guys. Is there anything inside here? I wonder. I'd feel more comfortable if I had at least one medical kit. Where's a lot of things happened at? I'm trying to think of like where I've fought people. Oh, there's this ambush over here. Maybe there's some stuff left over? Uh, there's a lot of boars here. I'm not looking for a fight, boys. Okay. Well, there were some stashes over there, but they're in the radioactive area anyway. Oh, that sucks. I've got no artifacts either now. Hmm. Well, I need to start making my way over there and hope I find some gear, you know? There's not a whole lot around for me to grab, so I'll quickly see if there's anything here. There's a hunting shotgun at least, some slug rounds. I feel like there was at least one more dead guy here. What about down by this pond over here? Have to grab this PM ammo, I think. Hmm. This guy had quite a few things in him. He's got a Viper. Can always use a Viper. Oh, I still got my detector, okay. He just gave me that just in case I didn't have one equipped, I guess. Okay, well. Let's head on down to this location. See if we can get our items back.
So, let's carry on. I gotta try and avoid any anomalies or radiation because I've got no, well, anything. Medical or um, anti-red. So I'm gonna try and stay away from any radiation I see. Unfortunately, there is a stash on that hill there, but if I go anywhere near that, I'm gonna get, like, destroyed by radiation. If you're gonna need a swamp, so I'm gonna hit a load of radiation. There's some friendlies there. There's a friendly there as well. Can I call on these loners to help me? Whoa, there's a load of bandits there. At the dig site. I'm just gonna run past these swamps. Run towards the loners up here. Actually, if I go to the far outpost over here, there might actually be stuff for me to pick up. There's a dead bandit there. Ah, oh, there they are. There are two bandit friends that have screwed us. What are you guys doing up here? If you got something, you've got nothing. Here with you. Come on, spill the beans. Any of you guys want to help? Receiving outpost. Oh, that's the receiving outpost. Somebody's already got that. Lamster stash. One of the diggers fought to get away with their loot. But Shepard and his boys had other ideas. They wasted the dude, but couldn't find the loot. Only I saw the stump the diggers used as a stash. I think we should go over to that. We sort of got just bandits everywhere at the moment. Is there a... I think there's a... Artifact nearby. I can hear something hitting an anomaly over and over again. There's an anomaly ahead of me. Don't want to get too close. Some slug rounds. Well, I need what I can get at the moment. So I just saved, and these guys have just like decided they're going to go off and attack something. Where are you attacking, guys? Far outpost. So they're going down there. I can't really give them support, so Godspeed, you guys. Well, there's only two of them over here, so maybe if I go in guns blazing, I can take them down with just one mag. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> they're going off again. How beat up is this hunting shotgun? Maybe this is key. Let's put some slug rounds in it. Because this could be the key to our success. in a bad place. They're throwing grenades at me. <laughs> Who would have thought two bandits would have been so tough at this point? Okay, let's just run in with full auto again. 
get as close as possible and just stick the barrel of the gun into them. Quick, give me your stuff. Nope. I bled out. How many attempts will this take? We'll soon find out. Do I have not got anything that's accurate? Come on, I feel like I got a headshot there. No, we should stash some better weapons now. Well, one room's down. Got them both, finally. I need some health. There we go, all my stuff. Wait, take all. All right, bandage. Let's put that back on and that back on. I'm so overweight now. Let's drop all this junk that I don't need. Okay. We've got all my stuff back. Finally. So apparently, to find this stalker group stash, I need to go into the Agro Prom Institute area. Stalkers, freedom. Everything's under control. Location captured. And it looks like our guys have taken his place back over here. Despite having, like, no gear. Because <laughs> I saw them all. They just had four hunting shotguns between them all. <laughs> well, guys, that's going to do it for today's episode. Especially after that last part. But it was good to be back. So, guys... Next time, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. I might end up going to the Agriprom just to check out Duty and um, some of the other stuff there. And because our next objective is there. I mean, I'm not trying to follow the story, but like, as far as side quests go, there's not a whole lot of them around at the moment. So I'm sort of just going where the action is, really. Anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And I'll see you again for another video.